Today we're going to uh, mount the resistor packs and the flat pack diodes on the board today. Uh, they're going to go here where R5 is um, and where the LED is going to go, R4, R5, and the two LEDs to indicate BCD and hexadecimal. So these are the two resistors here. We're going to start with those. Notice they're very, very small in size, uh, very microscopic, very hard to keep a handle on. And they're going to go on where R4 and R5 are here and we're going to mount those on there. So I'm going to take a little bit of solder first thing um, and put that on there. A little bit of solder right here on the, the pad for R5. Just enough to get a little solder on there. Then I'm going to push this part into my finger, get it up on the board, get it to where I want it to go with my little plastic adjustment tool. And when I get it close to where I need it to go, I'm going to hold it there and then solder to it. If I just heat down the one pad, get a little solder right there, it comes right on and locks into place. Okay, then I can come in and solder on the other side of it. Just a little bit of solder there. And now that part is laid down onto the board. I'll do the same thing with the other resistor. I'll put a little solder on the board first, right there for that pad. Get the part up onto the board the way I want it to be. Negotiate it around once again for my location. Hold it down with the plastic, solder it with the soldering iron, and then come in with my solder on the other side. And that resistor is now in place. Okay. Now we're going to lay down the LEDs that go respectively here for VCD and indicate hex mode for this board. Uh, notice that these LEDs are extremely small, but there's two green dots on one end of the LED. That LED is going to then be, uh, that, those two dots are going to go right here where this bracket is. So the two ended, the dots here are going to go to where the bracket end is here. So I get that part. I need to do just a little bit of solder down onto the board first. Put that right here. Just a little bit on the pad. Pick up the part. Move it down to where I want it to go. Uh -huh. So now those two banded ends are on this end. Again, hold it down. Heat that solder up. That end is now in place. Come in on the other side. Keep that solder up. Now that LED is in place. Do the same thing, bracket orientation wise. Put a little pad down here. Get your LED, put it on the board. Orient it the way you want it to go. Hopefully it gets out of the way of the other parts. Um, Making sure that those two green ends are on one side. If I can get it to stay put, that is. Come in here with the solder. Down, solder the other side. And voila, all four parts have been laid down on the board. Again, notice that the bracketed end with the white bracket is at the same spot as the green dots on the LED, and you should be fine. Now granted, it doesn't look like it's the most beautiful thing in the world, but if it can save you $200 by laying down a 10-cent part, it's worth the trouble and the experience. Good luck.